Hello everyone, I am so happy to see all of you today. This week we are starting a brand new series and it's going to be epic. I am so excited to get started. Who is ready to play a game? This game is called No See Drawing. Before I explain how to play, you'll have 30 seconds to grab four pieces of paper and something to draw with. You can grab markers, crayons, or even a pencil. Ready, set, go! Four, three, two, one. Awesome, now we're ready. Here's how to play. I'm gonna call out something to draw, and when I say go, you draw it. But you can't look at your paper while you're drawing. Are you ready to play? Okay, when I say go, let's draw a dog surfing. Ready, set, go. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna make, first of all, I have to draw his face, I'm gonna make his eyes, a, a smile, and I'll draw his ears, and then I think I have to draw the, the ocean because there's waves, obviously. So we'll draw the ocean, then we'll add bigger waves over here, just like that, and then make a comeback, because they have to be big so he can surf on them. Oh, I forgot his surfboard! That's one of the most important parts. So I'm gonna draw a surfboard right here, and make a cool design on it, and I think that's it. Okay, are you guys ready? In five, four, three, two, one, stop! <gasps> wow, that looks nothing like a dog, but how does y'all's look? Oh my goodness, that is awesome! Let's play another round. Get another piece of paper ready, and now let's draw a monkey skydiving. Ready, set, go! Okay, so I obviously have to draw another animal, so we'll start with its face. Uh, give it, does monkeys have ears? Probably, so, so we're just gonna draw a big ear right there, and another big ear right there, and then and I'm gonna draw another smile, obviously. Oh, the eyes, obviously, and then I guess I'll give it a nose, I guess. Um, uh, uh, oh, uh, have to draw its body. So let's draw its body right here, and then give it some legs, and, and then a tail, and then... <laughs> Have to also give a parachute because if it's skydiving, we want to make sure it has its parachute. So let's draw a parachute right there, right there, and then we'll give him a big balloon at the top so he stays afloat during the entire thing. And then uh, I'll draw the plane he's jumping out of. We'll draw the plane right here, and then right there, and then right there, and then right there, and right there. And clouds. So let's draw some clouds. And I think I'm done. Okay. In five, four, Three, two, one, stop! Let's see it. Oh my goodness. I gave it everything except its helmet. That's my bad, but I think he'll be safe. How did you guys do? Great job. Let's do another round. Get your paper ready, and now let's draw a pizza with your favorite toppings on it. Ready, set, go! Okay. Let's see. My favorite pizza is obviously a cheese pizza. So we're gonna add uh, some cheese right here and some cheese right here. But we, first we have to make a big circle, obviously. And then I like pepperoni on my pizza, so we're gonna draw some pepperoni. And then I also like mushrooms. So we're gonna draw little mushrooms right here and a little mushroom right here. And, and let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, I also have to draw some bell peppers because I love bell peppers. So I'm gonna make some bell peppers on it. And then it obviously needs some ranch to dip it in. So on the side, I'm just gonna add some ranch right here. Okay, and I think I am done making my favorite pizza. Are you guys ready? In five, four, three, two, one, stop. Yum, how does yours look? You guys did awesome at this. Okay, are you ready for the last round? Are you sure? Okay, when I say go, let's draw a turtle running a marathon. Ready, set, go! Okay, so obviously I need to draw the turtle first, so I'm gonna draw its shell. 
and then I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna draw a little design on its back because turtles are so beautiful, so pretty, and they have such cool designs on the back. Uh, I also have to draw its head, so I'm gonna draw its head sticking out of its shell, and we're gonna draw its eyes, and I love making turtles smile, and then its feet, obviously. So one, two, three, four legs, and then we're gonna draw the road because obviously it needs to get to the end of the race. So we're gonna draw that, and I guess we'll draw some other contestants. So we'll put one person right here, and then another person right here. And I also wanna make sure it is in first place because turtles are obviously one of the fastest animals on planet Earth. Um, and I have to draw the finish line. So let's draw the finish line right here. And I think I'm done. Okay, in five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Wow, this turtle looks lightning fast. I think I'm gonna name him Zippy. What are you naming yours? That was so much fun. Now let's take a look at our memory verse. Hey everyone, our memory verse for today is found in Proverbs 18:21. It says, the tongue can speak words that bring life or death. Proverbs 18.21. Let's all say that together. Ready? The tongue can speak words that bring life or death. Proverbs 18.21. That was great. Let's say it one more time, but this time let's try and say it as fast as we can. Ready? The tongue can speak words that bring life or death. Proverbs 18.21. Awesome job, everyone. Now let's all stand to our feet because it's time to declare the word of God over our lives. We declare the word of God because God's word is what? That's right, it's powerful. Let's shout it out in one, two, three, four. Great job, everyone. Now stay standing with me. Let's get ready for worship.
Hi, everybody. It is so great to see you today. In fact, it is so great to see you for the first time this year in 2021. We are going to start this year off right with an awesome new series all about something you might know a lot about. Can you guess what it is? Here's some hints. It's something you have lots and lots of. You give them to others all the time. Others give them to you all the time. You can hear them, you can see them, and even make them up yourself. And they can be pretty powerful. Any ideas? Today, we are going to start talking about words. In fact, I have a good friend who'd be perfect to help us. I think he's in the library. Let's go check it out. Professor Pops, are you here? Or is your nose still stuck in a book somewhere? I was getting ready to talk about how words can be really- Did you say words? Oh, now, Miss Nikki, since I'm a professor and all, I know lots of fancy words. In fact, I spent all of my Christmas break casually reading this dictionary here and learning some good ones. Are you ready to hear them? Well, Professor Pops, that wasn't exactly... This makes me sound really smart. Well, of course you're ready. All right, here you go. The first one is... Caddy Wampus. That's the fancy way to say your room is messy. Um, that's interesting, but really... Board Bugamus! That's fancy for your stomach rumbling when you forgot to eat lunch and just want a nice giant slice of pizza, and then- Whoa, okay, Professor, hold up there for a second. These new words you've learned sure are something, but we aren't learning new words today. We're learning about the power of words. Oh, I just heard you say words, and I got excited, I suppose. I can be quite the flibberty gibbet, you know? <laughs> That's fancy for someone who talks a whole lot. Okay, well, words definitely can be exciting. In fact, God's powerful words created this entire universe that we live in. It says in Genesis 1-3, God spoke light and light appeared. You're telling me God created light by just saying it? Yes, he did. Before that, there was only darkness. But when he spoke, brilliant light flashed out into the universe. Wow. Those certainly are some powerful words. They are, and God didn't stop there. God went on to make the sky, the oceans, the land, all with his words. Even the beach. Huh, that's my favorite place to read a book. Even the beach. Then he created all the trees, flowers, and grass. Then he spoke the stars of the universe into existence. Just look at these incredible pictures from space. Wow! And God kept on speaking. He made all the creatures of the sea, the animals on land, and the birds in the sky. And most importantly, God made his most incredible creation of all, us, you and me. God said, let us make man in our own image. And he created mankind in a special way. He formed mankind with his hands and breathed life into them. Isn't that awesome? Everything we see around us in the world was made by God's words. In fact, the Bible says that God's words are still holding the universe, all of creation together today. It's kind of like this globe I have here. This globe represents the amazing world we all live in. And this stand beneath it represents God's words. The stand supports the globe and keeps it up and working nicely. Now, what would happen to this globe if I just took the stand away? Well, I'd say things might get rather cattywampus here pretty quickly. <laughs> You're right. The globe would fall to the ground and there would be a big mess. And without God's words, everything we know would be a big mess too. God's words, like this stand, holds the universe together. His words are powerful. And the Bible is full of his powerful words written to us. When we read God's words, his words have the power to change our hearts. His words give us love and show us how to live our best lives. And here's another cool part. Since God made all of us in his image, our words are powerful too. Really? My words are powerful? Now, are you sure that isn't just hornswoggle? 
well, I'm not entirely sure what hornswoggle means, but it's true. Our words are important and powerful too. In fact, our memory verse talks about this. Proverbs 18:21 says, the tongue can speak words that bring life or death. I had no idea my tongue could do that. It can. When we speak words that are kind, encouraging, or joyful, we have the power to bring life to other people. We can build others up when they are sad and show them God's amazing love. We can even speak God's words over ourselves to help us in hard times. We can make room for good things to happen with good words. But if our words are negative, mean, or unloving, well, the Bible says those can bring death. That means those words can really hurt us or other people. So it seems pretty important to understand how to use our words then. We want to bring life to others. It certainly is important. And we are going to learn so much more about what words can do and how to use them over the next few weeks. In fact, we can pray right now and ask God to help us. Let's pray together. God, thank you for today. And thank you so much that your powerful words are for us. You've created such an incredible world and we are so thankful we get to live in it. Your word says that there is power in the words we speak. So please help us to learn how we can use our words to bring life. We love you in Jesus name, amen. Amen, wow. Since words are really powerful, I think I may need to learn some more just so that I'm ready for anything that comes up. Let's see. Huh. Where did I leave off last? Ah, yes, hullabaloo. Um, I think I may need to help you out a bit. What about this word right here? Ah, yes, hip, oh, a hip, hip, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, not minute, menace. Uh, professor, I think it's time you take a break from the dictionary. Um, why don't we get some of that pizza that you mentioned earlier? We'll see you guys next time. God, the creator of the universe, spoke everything into existence. His words are so powerful that they created the amazing world we live in. We have a challenge for you. We want you to draw or paint a picture of your favorite part of creation. You can draw the stars, the ocean, or your dog. We would love to see it. So tag us on social media at Gateway Kids. And if you'd like to connect, Text CONNECT to 71010. We love you and we will see you next week.